morning everyone welcome to road road at restore i'm john uh, in this video i will be working on the vauxhall insignia two litre diesel it's a cd t i s r i god and i'm going to be changing the gearbox oil the easy way because most people like to take the battery out and take the battery tray out just to get to the fill up plug but uh I think I found a cunning plan. So let's see if it works. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so this is the front of the gearbox. Nut. Little bolt just there without my spanners touching. There's the uh, fill up hook. That's at the front of the gearbox, front of the car. And if we go to the back. Okay, then at the back of the gearbox, just there, that is the drain plug. Now I'm just using this, which is a 12mm X. Nope, that's a 12mm, that's a 10mm, and the 10mm fits in there. And I've got 12mm ring spanner, which fits on there. And it starts to get loose. Get your drain tub ready. Hopefully you can see that and oil's not gonna go all over the camera. I just pull that out. Leave it to drain off. And while we're waiting for that to drain off, we can do the fill up rug which is just up there. So I don't think I'm going to be able to film on doing that, so let me switch you off while I get that one on. Okay, so that's both the blogs out, that one and that one. I did do a bit of research on gearbox oil change and I only managed to find one single video and then the video was just of some guy really telling you how awkward it is because you've got to disconnect the battery take the battery out take all the pipes off all these fixing bits off this battery tray because you've got to get the battery tray out as well and apparently at the back of the battery tray there's a really old odd bolt to get to and he's taken all this lot out uh, he hasn't got a radio code so he's lost the radio code probably but what I'm thinking is just push a pipe down there feed it into the gearbox there then find a funnel, a funnel, then find a funnel that fits your pipe. I found this one where it just won't go on there. But don't give up. Let's go in the wife's kitchen. Look in the drawers. And you might find something like this. And that fits on there perfect. So what we're gonna do is Cut the pipe off down there somewhere. Put my funnel in it and just keep topping it up. I know it's going to take a long time, but I'm sure it's going to be a lot easier than taking this lot out. Okay, then, so don't forget to put the drain plug back in. It's easier than you think to forget, believe you me, I've done it before. Tighten it all the way back up. 
don't have to go too hard with it. And there we go. Okay, so I've also got this smaller funnel, which is a wider opening than that one. So it might be easier to pour the oil in. But what I'm going to do now is put this pipe down there somewhere. I'll cut it about there. Oops, no going back now. Hopefully we can force that into there. Ouch. This is the oil I'm using. Hope you can see that. 75W90 semi synthetic gear oil. It's recommended for this car from the car shop. So let's get pouring. And apparently we need 3.5 litres. So we're going to be around here somewhere. Okay, carefully does it. long time. Then we best go and check under the car. Make sure it's not leaking anyway. Oh no, there's nothing on the floor. There's no drips around the hole so looks like we're doing well. I'm sure this is going to take a long time so leave it with me until I get closer to the three litres. Okay then, it just goes to show when you go to the car shop don't listen to the young boy because he says it, this gearbox takes 3.5 litres and I was thinking that I heard on the net that it takes 2.5 and my thoughts were right it just takes 2.5 litres and now I've got this big mess to clean up Bloody car shops. There's a way for that to stop dripping and then I'll put the plug back in. Okay then, so I think the waterfall's just about stopped. There you don't put 2.4. There you don't put 2.5 litres in it, you put 3.5 litres in it. Okay then, so now I guess we can try and get this plug back in. Easier said than done. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Just tighten this all the way down. it. Just remember, don't listen to the young boy at the car shop. Yes, just trying to get me to spend more money on a big bottle I think. There you go, not as easy as it looks. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it's been of some use to you and uh, as usual stay well, stay safe. I'll see you in another life, brother. I'll see you soon. Yeah.